Hello everyone, I'm Frank Fu. Welcome to today's video. Um, in the rapid development of digital human technology, lip sync technology has been able to generate highly realistic virtual character videos, bringing the expressiveness of digital humans to an unprecedented level. However, generating high quality lip sync videos is only the first step. How to deliver these videos to user devices in real time, ensuring a smooth and lo a low latency playback has become a critical challenge. In the early days of real time audio and video transmission, the WebSocket Plus main source solution was the undisputed mainstay. It established a persistent connection via WebSocket, pushing audio and video data from the server to the client and displaying it in real time on the front end player. This approach avoided the frequent establishment and the termination of traditional HTTP requests, significantly improving data transmission efficiency. Uh, however, with the rapid development of digital human technology, the limitations of this solution gradually became apparent. WebSocket was not designed for audio and video streaming, lacking dedicated codec and bandwidth control mechanisms, leading to frequent latency and packet loss issues. Additionally, audio and video streams require high bandwidth, and the WebSocket's lack of bandwidth optimization often caused network congestion, resulting in uh, video lag or data loss. Furthermore, audio and video frames were typically transmitted separately, requiring developers to manually implement synchronization logic, which not only increased development complexity, but also introduced potential errors. In complex network environments, uh, WebSocket also lacked effective penetration mechanisms, leading to unstable connections. To address these issues, WebRTC, Web Real-Time Communication, technology emerged. WebRTC is an API that supports real-time voice and video conversations in web browsers specifically designed for audio and video communication. It enables low latency, high bandwidth efficiency of real-time video transmission with a built-in codec, bandwidth adaptation, and the flow control uh, mechanisms. WebRTC significantly improved the quality and the stability of audio and video transmission, making it particularly suitable for real-time video delivery in digital human scenarios. Uh, the core advantages of WebRTC lie in its uh, low latency for advantages and real-time advantages, 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 for advantages, such as codex, bandwidth adaptation, and the flow control, minimizing audio and the video transmission delays, making it ideal for uh, real-time interactive scenarios. Additionally, WebRTC dynamically adjusts audio and the video qualities based on network conditions, such as automatically reducing video resolution in poor network environments to prioritize smooth audio transmission. This automatic bandwidth management not only improves the bandwidth efficiency, but also ensures the stability of audio and video streams. Um, WebRTC also features a built-in audio-video synchronization, automatically handling synchronization issues through timestamps without requiring manual implementation by developers, greatly reducing uh, development complexity. In digital human scenarios, this automatic synchronization ensures precise alignment between the virtual character's lip movements and the audio frames, significantly improving the accuracy and the naturalness of lip sync. Furthermore, WebRTC supports stun and turn servers enabling seamless traversal of net and firewalls to maintain stable connections in the various network uh, environments. And the firewalls this and allows the firewalls and the firewalls to reliably and the firewalls transmit and audio the firewalls and video and the firewalls even in complex network settings such as the corporate intranets and the public Wi-Fi, expanding the application scope of digital human technology. The overall architecture of WebRTC 
is divided into three layers. The top layer is the web API layer, which exposes JavaScript APIs for developers. The middle layer is the core of uh, WebRTC, comprising three main modules, audio engine, video engine, and the network transport. And the bottom layer is the hardware adaptation layer responsible for audio and video capture and the network I.O. The audio engine, voice engine, handles the audio communication, including a codex, echo cancellation, and a noise reduction. Uh, the video engine, video engine, manages the video communication, uh, supporting a codex such as a VC, VP8 and VP9, and ensures video quality through jitter buffers and the image enhancement techniques. The network transport module is responsible for encrypted transmission of audio and video data and the firewall traversal, supporting the SRTP protocol and the IC framework to ensure stable data transmission in complex network environments. The WebRTC connection establishment process includes the SDP offer answer exchange, ICE candidate discovery, and connection testing. First, the initiator generates an SDP offer and sends it to the receiver, which parses it and returns an SDP answer. Then, both parties exchange ICE candidate information, test the validity of network paths, and finally establish a peer-to-peer -peer connection. In digital human scenarios, the front end establishes a signaling channel with the back end via WebSocket receives WebRTC's uh, offer, answer, and ICE candidate information, and establishes a peer-to-peer -peer connection through RTC peer connection. The backend uses the video stream merger component to merge multiple video streams and uh, transmits the merge stream to the front end via RTC peer connection. Uh, this mechanism ensures uh, synchronized playback of multiple video streams providing technical support for complex uh, digital human scenarios. The transition from WebSocket to WebRTC has brought significant practical benefits, lower latency, higher bandwidth efficiency, automatic audio-video synchronization, and stronger network adaptability. These improvements make digital humans appear more natural and significantly enhance user interaction experiences. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about the development or optimization of real-time digital human systems, or if you'd like to dive deeper into technical details, feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer your questions, and I welcome everyone to join the discussion on the more technical topics. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.